And so I'm in the fabric room in the Doctor Who, near the Doctor Who closet because dun, 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 I'm starting a new dress and it's so pretty. Let me show you this drawing and I'm obviously in the mannequin room because I need to put it on the mannequin. So let me show you this drawing and then we about to get into it. <laughs> So here is my beautiful drawing. Let me get a little closer so you can see the design. It's going to have these really edgy graphic um, double frame squares as you can see as a frame on either side of the bus it has these really cool crisscross straps it's beautiful it's flowy it has a split I'm using AB stones and um, topaz AB it's open in the back oh, it's gonna be gorgeous the dress is actually here so let me put this plastic on my mannequin it's a size one and a half so she's a really tiny lady and I will show you what it looks like so we have two different kind of mannequins here they're both very expensive this is one of the soft mannequins and on the soft mannequins I like to use the plastic covering just to keep a protective layer in between the dress and the mannequin form because like I said they're very expensive and I don't the dress is also very expensive the stones are also very expensive and I don't want to get anything stuck to the mannequin but we also have some hard mannequins with the cast iron base and those I like to use the fabric covering in between the two layers of mannequin and dress and it also has a plastic backing and I think I just feel like those work better on the harder mannequins so here you see the full dress in its glory it is a Judy Fernando creation so you know it's gorgeous and very well made and I cannot wait to stone it all right so there's one more component to this beautiful gown and I pulled all the stones that I need but I actually need this square and we don't have it in AB we only have it in crystal I wonder if I can get away with just sliding it in as a mixture of stones because this dress is supposed to be a b and what is that like topaz a b only so i grabbed some baguettes as well because i have some a b baguettes so i figure if i do a good mixture of both you won't be able to tell we shall see so the first thing i'm gonna do is draw out a frame to where I want to add my border so it can look similar to this. I think I'm going to do a border on all three sides. So here, here, and going up. But we shall see. Okay, so I got my lines drawn and it's going to taper in on this side. And the ones up here are going to taper up. So I'm putting my large squares in leaving enough space to do my negative space frame around it and that is what i'm doing right now all right so this is the configuration of the square stones that i came up with going down the bus to the smaller rectangle and then going up the bus to the smaller rectangle to the even smaller ones that i'll add throughout the rest of this collar and then once I get them glued down, I'll do a double frame around each one in size 16. And we shall see what it looks like. This is where we're going. So a double frame, the inner frame is the light topaz. And then the outer frame is the AB. I'm using the size 16s at the top, size 12s down the side. Oh my God, 
just look how this frame came out. So I went ahead and jumped to the strappy straps along the front and the back and the side and stoned those to the hilt and I think it looks amazing. So the next step is for me to do the framing of that white part and sprinkle inside. But I wanted to show you a little bit more detail, a little slower of exactly what I did to frame those straps. So in that first video, it was just the larger specialty stone you saw. So I went back in and I double framed the specialty. That's why you see the little flat backs in between. Added that little accent there on the hip and oh, it is gorgeous. So I was tasked to find a stone that looks similar to this nude mesh. So it looks like the AB was just floating on top of her bust. So I chose to use light topaz AB instead of using um, golden shadow. And I did the other bust and on this side, I still have to go in with these size 16s just to fill it in. But I think it's gorgeous. And I ended up finding some electric white delight specialties. So that is what I used to frame all of the white piping throughout the bust of the dress. And I think it looks good. The way that these squares came out is nice as well. Girl, I cannot wait to see what the client looks like in this dress. It's gonna be so pretty. I can't wait to see how she dances with it on the floor because the way that these electric white delight specialties pop, just that little hint of orange and golden in the center, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I have a ton, so I'm gonna continue my frame and then I will be back when the frame is done and this dress will be done. Because as you can see, it's really just a tiny little dress covering the bus right there but I do still have to do the framing on this side and maybe add that accent on the other side as well kind of similar to the one down there but on a smaller kind of inverse way but I think it looks gorgeous I think it looks gorgeous tons of piping to do so I'm gonna get to that and I will be back Now that I think about it, maybe I might add a little electric white sprinkle down on this waistline here. Maybe an inch, maybe two inches down from the waistline. I don't know because there is a split there. So I think I need to create something there. We'll see. And this dress is finally done. Oh, it came out so beautiful. And I actually finished it so fast and like, record time for me I think this took 11 hours usually I spend anywhere between 28 to 38 hours on a gown but since it's so tiny so delicate so small and most of the focus was here on the bust doing this kind of um, negative space square frame that's pretty much it of course the beautiful strappiness and then I did a little um, sprinkle down here on the waist can you see it so cute and lastly I went in and created this little accent for the split and then stoned all the way down I love the way this dress so if you have any questions any comments feel free to leave them in the chat or you can send me an email at tiffany so talented at gmail.com and I'll get back to you I am offering courses if you're interested in something like that just let me know in the email and I will get back to you see you in the next one